so that little lug should fit into that that makes sure it's in correct position uh, now the needle itself the needle has four positions and to change the position what you do is you just firmly grab it I'm going to take the whole thing out um, down through this hole down at the bottom where the needle is um, down through there you can't see it of course um, is a small clip that holds it in. The clips are different, the older clips are just a little circular um, I don't know how to describe it, a little circular thing and then the later ones are a, a, a C-shaped spring so what you do is you grasp it firmly, grasp both sides firmly with a bit of outward tension I'm going to remove the whole thing. I'm going to move it about 20 about 90 degrees and then off as it turns I can feel it click out, that's one click I'll do it again, I'm holding it firm and moving the and then out it comes alright so there's the needle it's got some positions, oh, there should be four positions, first, second, third and fourth now when you put it back in same thing, you just put it back into place and just hold it firmly in and then rotate you'll feel it move one now if it's on the first position as it just is now that means the needle point is furthest down into the jet and that will be the leanest possible position because it's occluding the jet more if you push it in further down to the second one that's it it'll come up a bit so usually second or third position would be normal and then into the third and then into the fourth fourth would be very unusual you'd be very very rich because the needle is so far up that it's not occluding anything down there pull it back out again one two three Back in, it's out, so I'll put it back in again. Just a little bit of upward pressure on the needle. One, two. So that's in the second position now. Okay? That's in position. So now we put it back in.